Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a party game called 13 Words, which is a cooperative party game, which there's a few cooperative party games out there. This is a game in which you are trying to communicate on another level. It's from Captain Games, and in this game you are the captain, which I guess, and everyone's going to be trying to guess a correlation between two words the same as you. Here's how it plays. So with 13 words, you're going to take a big deck of cards, and this deck of cards has multiple words in it. They're each is on two sides, so tape on this side, chicken on this side. And you're going to put 12 words randomly around here, matching the 1 through 12. Each player is going to get one of these. This is allowing you to pick one of the numbered words, a spinner, and then this here will keep track of your points. This, folks, is a terrible device <laughs> because knowing which one to move and how, and you know, you're moving them both, this one works pretty well, but constantly people were spinning them and the point part was moving. Every person I played with has complained about this device. I'm sure they thought it was kind of unique and interesting. Unfortunately, just kind of a pain. Now, this is the whole game. This is it. You're going to take one card and put it here in the middle. This is the 13th card. All players now, the cap, one person is the captain. That person has this very large token. And I'm picking a word that I think closely relates with green, somehow, some way. Everyone else is trying to match them. So for me, let's go ahead. What do you think I picked? Did I pick alley, laser, suit, earth, noodle, sausage, athlete, tap, brown, board, cinema, or match? And for me, the answer here is I would say the green earth. I thought about green brown, but green earth. So now anybody who matched me gets a star and I get a star if at least one person matched me. So then this card goes away. The card I picked earth is flipped over and put in here. And the next player goes, except now you notice there's only 11 words to match from. So waitress, and in this case, I might put waitress matches with noodle. And then we flip noodle over. Now there's fire. And oh, I would put fire with sausage. And then we flip sausage over. And now there's vomit. And here I would pick alley because I grew up in a city. And that's where you find um, vomit. We turn alley over and there's song. And so on and so forth. You're going to keep going. There's only two cards left. You will then add up everyone's scores. You'll compare it to this chart here based on the number of players. Let's say you're playing with five and you get 40. Mind read as much. Obviously, the most points you can get is the bottom one here where it says, are you cheating or something? And that's the game. All right, so that's 13 words. Uh, it is, there's a lot of these games where you match two words together. So this one has a couple unique things. We'll talk about that. First of all, the words inside shrink. So as time goes by, there's fewer and fewer words. It's also very quick and it's cooperative. There are other games that have you try to match other people. The most common one I can think of is like Wavelength, where you're trying to think of the same, same thing that other people do, although that's Teams. And I do wonder that 13 words would work better, probably not as a cooperative game. As a cooperative game, cooperative games have to be super fun because otherwise you want some sort of goal. People want to have a goal that you're trying to get. Most party games, I find, people don't necessarily care who wins, but there's still a little bit of the goal that's trying. Now, the most popular of these cooperative games is Just One. And in Just One, Everyone's doing the same thing, but the experience of just one is so entertaining. Everyone's laughing the whole time. This one, there's a little bit of laughter. There's some fun here, but I think where 13 words falls apart is it's okay. I had fun playing it, but if I never played again, I played it several times here, but if I never played again, I'd be fine. It doesn't really be memorable other than, oh, everything was in a circle and the word pool got smaller. That's what I remember about it. But I wouldn't pick this over, let's say, just one or so clover or other games where you're trying to delve into the mind of other people. And there are several of these games that are coming out. You know, it's, there's party games. There's only so much design space in the party game category. And so one of them is everyone write down the same word. That's kind of what this is. That mixed with those dials, which aren't that great. 
it's really hard for me to push this one. It is a very much fine experience. I give it a six. I don't think it's bad. I think some of you watching this might want to get it and play it. You'll have a good time. There is a big word pool in here. I want to say there's, I think, 200 cards and they're double-sided. No, 224 cards and they're double-sided. That's a lot of words. And since you only use 13 per, ga per game, there's a lot of replayability. So eh, hopefully that will help you decide if this is one for you. For me, it's one that I will look back and say, that was nice, but that's probably the extent of it. That's 13 words. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.